Shalom Yasharala, peace be to the nation of Israel, who modified the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and speckled by Israelites, being Israelite foreigners scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon, the Great. And we are the most high, how we chosen people of the nation of Israel. So, without further ado, as always, in a pale of Hebrew, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is God ever living, Yahweh, by Shem Yashai, Barach, Rash. Which means all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, who, who is our strength and our Redeemer and our light and our salvation. And in the same tongue, Adam Mashana, Kabawadim, Laha Sequanium, Shal Gadawal Kab. All right. We need double honors to the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, on down, and Shalom, on its, and uh, salutation to Bayasha Dawada, along with the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. All right. And, uh, all right, this is uh, another update, another Harm of God one update uh, regarding the uh, the so-called Arab uh, countries, all right, further aligning with Iran. This is prophesied in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, all right, uh, starting at verse 28 on down, and how they're siding with Iran, okay, which is whom is siding with Russia, okay, for the fact that... Uh, as of recently, this morning, um, the Iraqi fighters, all right, the Iraqi military fighters have, uh, you know, fired, fired off drones uh, against the, uh, the Amalekites over there in the Holy Land, okay, in response to um, the Lebanon pager attacks being associated with Amalek, okay? All right, so I'm going to bring this information out. It says, uh, the Kremlin warned on Wednesday that an attack on Lebanese group Hezbollah and others using exploding pages could become a trigger for a wider regional conflict and call for its perpetrators to be identified in an investigation. All right, because, you know, as recently there's been a report of, you know, thousands of uh, pages, you know, uh, you know, slash beepers exploding. Okay. You know, Sutter further confirms that, you know, Esau has uh, power, the, 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 the power that Esau has in his world uh, through his carnality and witchcraft, all right, his witchcraft, including his technology, which is a part of his devices, okay, for the prophesied in Job 5 and 12, you know, so, you know, so in the case of the exploding beepers slash uh, pagers that they've been using to target, you know, them Hezbollah militants down in Lebanon, what's to stop them from, um, who's to say that they can be stopped as a, in regards to, um, you know, targeting you know, people do these provoked attacks to other means of technology, okay? Case in point, you know, so, you know, because a lot of these technological manufacturers of these beepers slash um, pagers will deny any involvement of the capabilities of, you know, these devices exploding. Um, you know, so it's, it's either that, they actually are behind it, or, um, you know, they're just manually, or somebody's manually you know, causing uh, uh, these explosives to detonate, okay, case in point, right, or in this case, rather, you know, allowing these, um, these, these the devices to explode, rather, okay, you know, so, um, you know, this is, this is a further part of the witchcraft, Edomites, all right, being exposed, where the world has become more privy to your devices, and this is why, you know, these certain sovereign nations are teaming up to destroy you, or including these um, uh, so-called uh, Muslim nations, Okay, even those who, you know, were, you know, were in bed with you at one point, you know, geoeconomically and geopolitically speaking, even uh, geomilitarily. All right. But now you just see that you're out of control. You're, you know, because you're, you're, uh, you're, you're a tyrant. All right. And if you're not good to yourself, what good, what good can you do to anybody else? Roughly paraphrasing Sirach 14 and 5. And this is why, um, pursuing a Jeremiah 51 and 7 on down, more of these uh, other uh, sovereignty the nations are rejecting your wine your your wine of fornication being your western philosophy and that's eventually going to lead into a full-fledged war so this is um job 5 and 12 it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise all right your enterprise is your counsel okay something that lifts you up something that exalts you when you look up the, the etymology of the word and uh, the Hebrew word for device is mazama, as a wicked inventions, okay, or wicked invention, including all your many 
wicked inventions through your uh, your media, your Western media outlets, okay, you know, in which you, you control about 96% of them globally, further, you know, and thus, you know, controlling the narratives, you know, uh, to further justify your satanic NWO agenda, all right, along with your technology, it's a part of your technocracy, all right, which is a part of your Hegelian dialectic, all right, to create the problem, present the solution to sustain order through that uh, MOTB implant, that grain and rice device, which is, you know, which is, you know, which, which is, you know, what this is all about, all right, uh, justifying the rolling out of this uh, grain and rice device, so we're not ignorant of, you, of, of your devices, all right, so uh, I'm going to grab Psalm 33 and 10. He reads, the Lord, how will by Shem and Shah bring the counsel of the heathen to naught? He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord, how by Shem and Shah standing forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. And that's why in Acts, the fifth chapter, it prophesies how, you know, if, if, a, if a counsel be wicked, it shall not stand, but if we paraphrase. And this is why your, your wicked satanic NWO agenda is going to fail you, as it's prophesied in Job, the 20th chapter. And this is why your counsel, okay, the counsel of the heathen, of the lowest of all the heathen nations, the Edomites, you know, pursuing Jeremiah 49, <clears throat> so like you, verse 15 on down, <clears throat> so like you, a little under the weather. All right, verse 15 on the, all the way down to 18, and so forth. All right, you devils are lowest of the, of the heathen nations, man, and because of how you because of how you live, vile, okay, like like beasts through your, your blessing, a sword, okay, which is what your military industrial complex represents, but it's failing you, okay, because this ain't, this ain't 1945 anymore. You know, where you dropping, you drop fat man, little boy, and Ammon, the uh, so-called Japanese. So now these other, like it says in Jehovah, the third chapter, when it prophesies, let the weak say I'm strong. So these other nations have thermonuclear capabilities, man. You see? It's all a part of the miracles for the prophesied in Revelation, the 16th chapter, okay, in um, Isaiah 54 and 17, okay, of the Lord's, the weapons of the Lord's indignation, okay, to, uh, to bring you heathen nations to the brink of destruction, including your Edomites. Okay, being used for to provoke it and for to poke that bear of Russia. So, um, so I'm going to grab Ezekiel chapter 28, start at verse 3. It says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Now, you're wiser than a forefather Daniel on the left hand side with your witchcraft. All right, because you're the modern day Chaldean, okay, known as witches and warlocks in the Neo Syrian Empire. All right, which is why Assyria is another spiritual alias for America, okay. Hence, Assyria being known as a bloody city, and America being Babylon the Great being established off the blood of the saints. So it says in um, Ezekiel 28 and 4, With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. All right? Through these war provocations and unjustifiable war missions, okay? You know, such as down in Iraq and, you know, uh, Afghanistan and so forth, Okay? You know, where you were supposedly fighting the war of terrorism, but you're actually over there um, looking to steal drugs through the opium, okay? Uh, the opioid fields, the oil, the gold, all right? And that's why he took out uh, Gaddafi, okay? Case in point, of Libya, all right? You know, through intelligence agencies and so forth, man. So your devils have been exposed, all right? This is uh, verse 5. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, has I increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness, which is your, which is symbolic of your, your wisdom, wisdom not your understanding. You know, hence why the parable in Isaiah 14 of Lucifer is referring to you devils, man. You illuminated ones, you international crime banking families, but it's over. Okay? It's over for you devils, man. All right? You know, case in point, there was a report earlier, you know, that I reported on where supposedly there was a drone attack on, you know, one of the largest, if not the largest, Russian weapons depot down there in Russia. Okay? That they, they, they claim that was done on behalf of a drone fired from Ukraine, which is actually a cruise missile on behalf of NATO. All right? So you fucked up. Now... You know, it's just a matter of time before Russia um, uh, retaliates, man. But even though that's what you want, you don't really know what you want, man. You don't, you don't know what you really started, because, like it says in um, 
Psalm, the second chapter, it says, why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? All right. Uh, Ezekiel 28. And uh, yeah, so these the most terrible. OK, of the nations, including Iran, Russia. OK, and these old all the other Muslim nations um, are defiling your brightness, man. They're going to, and they're going to ultimately defy your brightness in this last world's war by shooting ICBM thermonuclear missile warheads on you. All 200 million of them. And so if uh, being at that cruise missile that. You devils fired from Ukraine on uh, Russia caused a 2.8 magnitude earthquake. What more so these 200 million ICBM missile warheads prophesied in Revelation 9 chapter to detonate and, um, you know, bring a you know, terrible global earthquake. This is prophesied, I believe, in Revelation 6 chapter and also Isaiah 20, the 24 chapter. All right. So this is a. Uh, Verse 8 says, They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the death of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Will thou yet say before him that slay thee, I am the Most High, I, I am God? But thou shalt be a man and no God, and the hand of him that slay thee, which is your adversaries of the terrible nations, the most terrible of them, okay? Including the nations mentioned. So it says in verse 10, Thou shalt die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken this to the Lord God Yahweh. All right, and that's exactly what's happening, okay? Done on behalf of Russia and their allies. So I'm going to go back, and that's why I'm going to speak on this real quick. All right. All right. I don't know if it's Satan, man. Let me get rid of this shit. All right, so um, and that's why I hear the report on NBCNews.com. It says, Putin orders Russian army to expand to become the world's largest, second largest. All right, reported um, a few days ago on the 17th. Well, which was on, uh, I believe it was on Tuesday. So it says here, Putin ordered the regular size of the Russian army to be increased by 180,000 troops to one and a half million active service members. And this is why, you know, the Esau of America and NATO responded, okay, 12 hours ago by moving um, U.S. troops to Alaska, okay, uh, 100, 130 soldiers to Alaska, okay, deploying them. OK, uh, uh, you know, you know, near Russian territory, you know, because Alaska is, is on the outskirts of Russian territory. OK. You know, so. Um, so our hell's breaking loose. Our hell's for the breaking loose in, uh, in West Asia. OK. This is prophesied in the third chapter. You know, that's the, the land of your house. Shapat, this last world's war is going to take place at, man. All right. So it's not a coincidence that, you know, um, it was reported that. Iraqi uh, militiamen, you know, had a uh, you know you know attacked um, Amalek with a drone, okay, because they're standing with uh, Iran and Russia. All right, so um, it says Tuesday the attack saw thousands of pagers and detonated across Lebanon, el eliminating nine people and wounding nearly thirty uh, three thousand others, including the group's fighters and Iran's envoy to Beirut. All right. So the senior Lebanese security source and another source told Reuters that Israel's Mossad spy agency planted explosives inside 5,000 pages imported by Lebanese group Hezbollah months before Tuesday's detonations. All right. And on top of that, you know, another reason why Iraq attacked Amalek is because they're fed up with them. OK. Um, you know, by way of what's mentioned in this report, it says uh, U.S. Iraq settled on late 2026 deadline. For full troop withdrawal. So they want you devils out of their land. As it says in Micah in the second chapter and Habakkuk the second chapter, how you're you're um you know, you're vagabonds, man. Or you're not you're not you're not keepers at home. Because you don't have a home. Alright? And this is why you, you infiltrate other people's lands and justify doing so through your military industrial complex and intelligence agencies, okay, with ill intentions are right? to steal their resources, you serve them under Western authority and ultimately destroy them, man. Okay? Destroyed them systematically and ultimately destroyed them. And they're privy to it. And now they're retaliating. All right. So this is um, Ezekiel 38 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus said the Lord God, Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords. All right. You know, 
uh, weapons of death, including firearms, drones, fighter jets, you know, ICBM uh, uh, missiles and so forth. So it says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. All right, Persia going into, um, you know, re uh, referencing e um, Edan, or the nation Elam, Ethiopia, and Libya, the, the, the Hamite nations, okay? All right, and even some Ishmaelites, okay, in the mix that will, that will uh, contribute to your destruction, all right? All right, so this is uh, verse 6. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the North Quarter is talking about Russia, excuse me, uh, Turkey, and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou guarded to them. All right. So this is um, Second Edges. Second Edges chapter fifteen and verse twenty-eight, and it reads, "Behold, in horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east." All right. You know, you know, specifically in the, in the, the area of West Asia. Okay, around these so-called Muslim nations, around the Euphrates River. All right, the Tigris River. All right, the Persian Gulf um, and so forth. It says where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and a multitude of them shall be carried as a wind upon earth that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. All right. And the dragons of Arabia are these so-called Muslim nations. Verse 30 says also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood and with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of, of the Assyrians. All right. In the context of prophecy, modern day Syrians are, are um, you know, uh, is, is a reference to the American Empire. Babylon the Great says in verse 31, and then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn themselves, conspire together in great power to persecute them, then these shall be troubled, bled and keep silence through their power and shall flee. And from the land of the Syrians shall the enemy besiege them and consume some of them. And in their host shall be fear and dread and strife among their kings. All right. So. You know, the kings of the the, the other um, of, of the adversaries of America and NATO are going to exact vengeance upon the kings of America and NATO or bringing destruction upon them. OK, aiming for the NATO military, 800 to 800 plus military NATO military bases and then eventually aiming for the source. And that's America Babylon the Great, which is going to happen in the near future, man. So this is uh, Obadiah. Go end it off here. Obadiah, verse one, chapter one, Slaki, you started verse um Start of verse. Uh, start of verse three. The pride of thine heart had deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that set in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down to the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right, and the eagle represents vileness. Okay, the fowler. Okay, pursuing Psalm the ninety-first chapter, referring to Edomites. Okay, the vilest and, and most profane of all nations. Okay, so it says, um, and this is why the symbol of the Greco, the pagan Greco-Roman Empire, okay, was uh, uh, was of the eagle. Just like the modern day pagan Greco-Roman Empire, as in America, okay, having the, the, the symbol, having their symbol as the eagle. For revealing who you devils are. So it says in verse 5, if these come, uh, came to thee of robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they have, have enough, had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are the, his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. All right. So everyone who is once, uh, you know, a conglomerate partner of yours through these international business dealings are going to seek to destroy you in this last world's war. Verse... Verse 8 says, Shall I not in that day, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? And the mighty men of Teman shall be dismayed to the end that everyone in the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. All right, Teman represents the so-called Germans. All right, it says, For thy violence, okay, um, for thy violence, you know, and, and, and you know, because you, you, you so-called Germans were part of that Oppenheimer project, the Manhattan Project, rather, do uh, Jay Oppenheimer. And a good number of you so-called Germans, okay, are um, integrated within the um, the so-called Malachi circle, like uh, Klaus Schwab. So it says in verse 10, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right, so 
by way of your violence against the descendants of Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, the law to the tribes of Israel, the holy nation, of the heavenly father, and the name is only begotten son. Okay, you you devils are going to meet your inevitable end. Okay, so you had a good run, but it's over. Okay, and the further indication of that is that that, that foolish attack that you um, unleashed upon that, that Russian weapons depot, which will uh, eventually re uh, result in a retaliatory strike, and it's going to be deadly. And an ultimate retaliatory strike, and it's going to be the destruction of America. Okay, and, and then when the smoke clears, prophesied in the second edge of the 13th chapter, okay, we'll be gathered by Hamash Shai and taken back home to the land of milk and honey. So I'm going to give it, I'm going I'm to go ahead and end it off on that note. Pray this epistle, spread edifying, exhorting to the elect. Give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he was the God of a living. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Chodash, for blessing me the spirit through this video. And with that, I'm a ball, ball, soon and very soon. Shalom, and on to the next one.